We have to answer this question first. What is the Africa we want? So we say we want an Africa that is free of violent conflict and war. What leadership do you produce to get that result? We want an Africa that is free from poverty. What kind of leadership do you need to create to, to end that poverty? We want an Africa that is free of, that, that, that is driven by women's emancipation. Where is this leadership? How do you create it? We want an Africa that is free of corruption. How do you produce this leadership that is not corrupt? Now, these are the questions I took out to answer these practical things that President Kagame was talking about. And it's not an easy question to answer. But I think critically, and we were discussing this thing yesterday, critically, we need a critical self-assessment of ourselves as Africans. To say, as, as, President, as President Kagame was saying, we've been discussing this thing about the quality of leadership, challenges we face for a very long time. But when have we sat down to say, now let us assess, you know, you, 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 Tabo Mbegi, were president of South Africa for so long. Let's assess your performance. Did you provide this kind of leadership that is suitable for this Africa that we want? Where did you go wrong? We've got the African peer review mechanism, which President Obasanjo can speak about. That's part of what it was supposed to do. So that we sit as peers to say, no, but the president, you are misbehaving. You are stealing public resources. You've accessed power in order to put money in your pocket. This is not the leadership we want. But we are not doing that sufficiently because we are afraid. We are afraid to speak frankly to one another about the wrong things that we are doing. And I think if we don't do that, we will meet a century hence to discuss the same question. I think that critical self-assessment of the continent is necessary. And I, I mean a real, critical, truthful self-assessment that's critical. And I think that's a very, that would be an important step forward in terms of uh, uh, producing this kind of leadership which Africa wants. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake